Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Something a little bit smaller than we're used to seeing. Here we have the exquisite mini Pred Alien from Alien vs Predator Requiem by Higher Toys. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, I have cut my finger trying to fix a NECA figure, but there'll be a video coming soon for that. If you guys have been following my community posts, you'll know which one is broken, and sadly, it's not fixable, so I'm not quite sure what to do. But anyway, enough of that, let's focus on this. So, I was meant to review this guy last year, but he just kept getting pushed back time and time again, uh, because there was so many the other stuff that was coming out. Now, I did collect Higher Toys very, very briefly last year. I had um, a couple of aliens and just one predator. They were very, very impressive. I was upset that I missed out on the big chap. That looked like a very cool one. Um, but the reason why I had to stop was just because, not because I didn't like them, but just because there were so many other cooler things coming out at that time. And sadly, something had to give, and it was Hired Toys. I'm really upset that I missed out on those awesome Aliens Warriors, and also the um, the Wolf Predator, both masked and unmasked. Really upset that I missed out on those, but I'm very happy that I picked up this guy. So, taking a look at the front, you've got the Pred Alien as a nice image. Then you've got the Aliens... You've got the Aliens vs Predator Requiem title sequence, higher toys, you've got the figure in a nice display window, warning choking hazard, not for children under three, ages 15 and up. And what's interesting is even though this is Alien vs Predator Requiem, they've used exactly the same design for the Alien vs Predator 1 packaging, and you can see that Scar Predator there who isn't in Alien vs Predator Re Requiem, so it's kind of annoying that they didn't change the packaging for this, but, you know, it, it's still very nice packaging all the same. You've got these two nice images of the figure at the back, Made in China, all the stuff on here. They have put a big sticker over mine so you can't see, but there's their Twitter and their Facebook so you can follow them there. Exquisite Mini, a new standard setting for the 118th scale featuring super articulated figures under higher toys. Very, very cool. I really do love these boxes for what I'll just show you now, so if we just take this open... Now, for a backdrop, it's just a picture of Scar once again, which is a bit disappointing. You know, I think with these uh, collectible minis, some backdrops would be nice uh, just to give them, you know, just a little bit more. I understand the price may go up and these things are very reasonable. However, I do remember this one being particularly more expensive. I think the average hire toy was about £20. This guy was £30 and... We'll get into that in a moment, so that's it for the box. But when you look at this, what I love about this is there's no annoying cable ties, there's nothing, it's just really held in by this shaped plastic, so you position him correctly in the box, and you can pretty much just repackage this guy whenever you want to. So the only thing you've got to be careful of, though, is separating the two, and unfortunately, I've had instances where accessories have just flung out the box, so just be very careful with that, as you can see. You just separate the two packaging. It was this hand, I believe, it just flung out the box. So, yeah, you can see it's sculpted to hold the figure in, uh, just like all Hire Toys packagings, which is very, very cool. So, we'll get this guy out of the box and ready to review. And so here he is out of the box on his display stand. So we'll just remove him from that. Now I'm going to say he does peg in really, really well. But before we get on to him, I just want to go over the things he comes with. So it's the standard traditional display stand that we've seen on pretty much all of the Alien and Predator releases from Higher Toys. It is a little bit frustrating that we can't have something different that they just keep repackaging the same uh, stand you guys know how frustrated i was about this when i reviewed the battle damaged avp alien queen but i suppose if it keeps costs down it's the figure we want and yeah it's just kind of standard really and of course like all higher toys he does come with these little connector pieces which slide in here like so, or any which way you want, really. They can come out this way or out the side, and then you can connect stands together to create a bigger display. The one thing with that, though, is 
because they all look the same, there's not really much incentive to do that. Like, if they had, like, different pieces, like, some were more desert and some were more grass or some were more metal, it might be really cool if you could actually have diorama sets for these guys, so you could really create, like, a display with them. That would be cool, because they're the right size to do it, you know, because they're smaller, you don't need this massive, massive space in order to do it, but... You can do that if you want to, so it's nice that they include it. And then, the only accessory that aliens ever seem to come with are two interchangeable hands. So, the hands that he has on are more relaxed, whereas these ones are more gripping. But as you can see, these do uh, these are specific to the Pred Aliens design. They've got much more of a sort of claw gripping, and you can see you've got that lighter beige colour uh, at the palm, and then the more black shiny colour at the back, very very cool, and these just pop on and off, like, oh, and I've just dropped one, uh, be very careful with these guys because they are microscopic, so, you know, if you drop one, it might be very difficult to find, so just, you know, be very very careful when taking it out of the box. But taking a look at the Pred Alien himself, this is a very very impressive piece. I mean, especially when you consider the size of this guy. Now, most higher toys tend to be about four inches, but I'm going to say that this one comes in at just, just about, just under five inches, I would say. So, obviously, the Pred Alien in the film was significantly bigger than the standard Aliens. And higher toys have just done such an amazing job with this. It's got an absolute beast of a tail. Very, very good bendy wire. Very good. In fact, actually, I think this is the best bendy wire I've had on any alien figure. It's very, very strong. It's very flexible. And the paint on this guy is just insane. What's really interesting is even the little um, spine pieces at the back here are articulated, which I never knew. So you can push them out or push them in. Uh, whether that actually makes any difference, I don't know. But I, I was never aware of that in the film. You see, you've got the uh, dreadlocks, which are quite rubbery. Unfortunately, with mine, I've had a trouble articulating the head. Uh, the joint inside seems to be a bit gummy, so I don't want to force it. I can uh, sort of move it from left to right, but it, it likes to kind of slowly move back over time, which is a shame. I love the skull inside there. Guys, if you'll focus, I really, really do love that skull. And just all the detail, like you've got all the little spots on the beige skin, you've got all the biomechanical parts, it really is. I'd say this gives NECA a run for their money. Like, honestly, that's how good this is. Very, very nice detail, very, very nice painting. And I... Uh, the mouth, you know, is articulated, so you can bring his little, well, I was going to say his little mouth, but this is very, very long, much longer than standard aliens. That's very, very cool. See, this all annoys me the more that I didn't pick up the wolf predator, because these were, you know, meant to go together, obviously. Now, there is actually a battle-damaged version of this, uh, that has all, like, it's just covered in, like, green blood and stuff, but I'm glad I got the standard version, because I just, I just prefer the way this looks a lot more. So, we'll look at his articulation. Now, as I said, the head can look left to right. It can also pivot from side to side slightly. Um, as far as looking forward and back, I think it's supposed to, but it's just not very good on mine, unfortunately. I think mine has had a bit of a dodgy head. So you can open the jaw reasonably far. Like I say, the mini mouth pops out with no problem at all. You can push that back in. The arms you can bring out to more than 90 degrees, which is quite impressive. You've got a full 360 all the way around. The There is a swivel at the elbow as well as a double joint bend. Now, one thing I've noticed is there is some paint chipping off as I'm doing that, but that's because, you know, it's fresh out the factory, and obviously, as you move the joints, you know, you are going to 
lose a bit of paint here and there, but uh, the paint's fine on all of the other pieces, so that's good. Uh, there's a full rotation at the hand, as well as a slight up and down and side to side because it's on a ball peg. There is a ab crunch joint. Does it do much, however? Not really. It does rotate slightly, but I don't want to force it. He can look back and slightly forward, but I'm okay with that. So you can do a full 360 with his legs. You can move them backward and forward, and they are on that adjustable uh, joint, so you can lift them up to look more you know, closed and sealed up, or you can actually drop them down if you want to have just a bit more range of motion with your articulation when posing him. So that's really cool. Uh, they can't really come outwards because of the sculpting of the uh, top of the leg, so that's going to hinder that, but you can push them right the way in if you wanted to do that. There's a very nice double bend at the knee, which is always good, and... Is there a, no, there isn't a rotation. There's forward and back on the foot, but no rotation. So, yeah. Uh, the articulation at the legs on this figure is a bit more restricted than I'd like, but it does the job nicely enough. And like I say, you've got a very nice bendy wire in the tail and also these little bits back here are articulated. So, for the size of the figure, the articulation that you're getting is actually very, very impressive. And, like I say, to help him with standing, which unfortunately this figure does suffer with quite badly, you can plug him into the display stand and then just ensure that you balance him correctly. So, obviously, because of the shape of the feet... The standing is going to be a bit awkward with this one, so I think you're definitely going to need the help of the display stand if you want to get those more dynamic poses, you know, like you could have him in a bit of a running pose, and obviously there's going to be a lot of balancing required, like you might need to adjust the tail, but for the most part, this guy is actually standing really, really well, and he's held in really firmly by the display base, so yeah... My one complaint I would say with this is his hands don't look as though they quite match up with the arms. I think they're a bit too dark at the back, but very quickly I'll just show you guys how they come off. So they pop off, you can see the little peg joint, and you can take one of his interchangeable hands and just uh, maybe use a little bit of heat on this before you do this because it's a tiny peg. And there you have his alternate hand on, so looking a bit more fierce, like he's reaching out to grab. It's a very, very cool. I really, really do love the look of this figure. And like I say, I was a bit annoyed about the price, you know, being an extra £10 than the rest of the higher toys figures. But actually, you know, this is quite a beast, especially when you compare it to the standard ones, which I will just show you guys now. So here he is next to a Higher Toys Predator. Now, as you can see, that that is quite a difference. In fact, I never realised that these guys were that small. Now, I know he's on the display stand there, so he'd be about here. So... Yeah, it, it, just, um, it just goes to show you this one is considerably bigger than the other ones, but... You know, I still think, actually, its visual appearance and, you know, the really, really good attention to detail, actually, that extra price point is really understandable. And if you guys haven't been able to pick this one up yet, I think it will be very difficult because I believe it's out of stock now. But if you can find it somewhere for a reasonable price, I would highly, highly recommend that you pick up this figure. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like I say, just a quick review of this um, Higher Toys Pred uh, Pred Alien. And yeah, making this has actually kind of made me want to start collecting them again when I can. Uh, I'm going to a toy fair again soon, guys, so I'll definitely be vlogging that. And if I do happen to see some that I haven't got yet for a reasonable price... 
I will definitely consider picking them up. I know one that I really do want is the Scar Predator and also the AVP-1 Alien Warrior with the dome because I love that design and also the big chap. That would be really, really cool. But I'm really, really happy with this figure. Overall, I would give it I give it a good 7 out of 10. Nothing too, like, mind-blowingly amazing, but what I will say is the level of detail that has been achieved here for the size is actually incredible. And if you guys are looking for something that's very detailed and collectible, but you can't afford to pay the prices of, like, NECA or Hot Toys or Mezco, then I would say this is definitely the line of figures for you. You know, you'll get these really lovely... Uh, d detailed figures, you get these nice little stands to pose them on, and you can really satisfy your alien and predator affections, you know, but with a very small, reasonable amount of space. And like I will say, when these figures are on the shelf together, they do look really, really nice. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and happy wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.